man of awareness. Man of awareness operates through a different key. Man of awareness operates through understanding. We have to understand a few things before we go into that. Normally we want to know something and in normal way the knowing becomes knowledge. Knowing always becomes knowledge. And you have to uh, be aware that you do not allow it to happen. Do not allow your knowing to become knowledge. This is the difference between an ordinary person and a man of awareness. Man of awareness never allows his knowing to become knowledge. One of the most delicate situations on the path of seeker is that knowing always becomes knowledge. Because the moment you have known something, your mind collects it as knowledge, as experience. And you continue to live those experiences as knowledge. Whereas knowing is a process and knowledge is conclusion. This is the basic difference that you have to know. Knowing is a process and knowledge is conclusion. When knowing dies, it becomes knowledge. Knowing is alive, knowledge is dead. And if you go on gathering this knowledge, the knowing will become more and more difficult. And then you will lose the thread of awareness. If you go on gathering knowledge, the knowing will become more and more difficult. Remember with knowledge, knowing never happens. Then you carry your knowledge around you. A knowledgeable person is almost hidden behind his knowledge. A knowledgeable person is almost hidden behind his knowledge. And then he loses all clarity and perception. The world becomes far away and the reality loses all transparency. The knowledgeable person is always looking through his knowledge. When he wants to go into anything, it is riding the wings of his knowledge he goes. He projects his knowledge his knowledge colors everything. With this, now there is no longer any possibility of knowing. Knowledge is not gathered only through scriptures. It is also gathered and more so through your own experiences. Knowledge is gathered through scriptures as well as and more so through your own experiences. You love a woman or a man, for example. You have never known a woman before, have never fallen in love. You fall for the first time. You are innocent. You are virgin. You do not know what love is. Your mind is open. You do not have any knowledge about love. You are spontaneous. You move into the unknown realm. This is mysterious. Love opens doors of unknown temples, sings unknown songs into your ears and into your hearts, and dances with unknown tunes, and you do not know anything. You do not have any knowledge to judge by, to evaluate, to condemn, saying good or bad, it is ecstatic. You are gripped by the ineffable experience of love. You live in moments of grace. But by and by you become knowledgeable. Now you know what love means. Also you know what the woman means, what the man means. Now you know the geography, the topography of love. You have become knowledgeable. You fall in love with another woman or another man. Now nothing like the first experience happens. And if you have gone to see the same movie again or reading the same novel again, it is exactly like this. Now when you fall in love or enter into 
love relation with another man or another woman nothing like the first experience happens as if you have going to see the same movie again or reading the same novel again now why are you missing why is the same mysterious experience not gripping you why are you not throbbing with the unknown again you are knowledgeable something so beautiful like love has become a repetition knowing always becomes knowledge so you have to be alert know something the moment it becomes knowledge drop it drop it consciously and knowingly this is what the man of awareness does he never allows the knowing to become knowledge and in him knowing remains alive and pulsating the moment it becomes knowledge he drops it go on dying to your knowledge never carry it otherwise it will hang around and because no other woman or no other man is see your first woman your first man was a totally different world this new woman or new man you have fallen in love with is a totally different world there is no correlation between them. it is not going to be the same but if you move through knowledge it will look like the same the repetition you are watching the same movie again drop the knowledge be again innocent again move into the unknown each time you move into the unknown move it with a gusto with a joy as if you are moving into an unknown realm because no two persons are alike every person is so unique that there has never been a person like that before and there will never be again learn again and again from the very beginning and you will be full of wonder life will always be refreshed and then you have learned something different something unique you have learned a deep experience and what is the experience never allow any knowledge to settle in you a man of awareness never allows anything to settle in him that is why you would have observed many times people ask me a recipe it becomes very difficult when i stand up in the kitchen with my ingredients i am there to in a state of wonder creating something different the same dish is being created differently the same thing happens with all that has been written there is a particular work which was written in 1990 that time the computer technology was not available so it was penned now it is very difficult almost impossible for me to type it over on to the computer because each time i go to type it is something different something new comes out it's not that the same sentence i am going to type whatever is written has become static and when i take my pen take to write again it becomes alive there is a change the same sentence is never repeated always different all knowing becomes knowledge the moment becomes knowledge and shock it is just like dust gathers on the bed every day you have to clean it on the mirror of your mind dust gathers and what is the dust dust of experience and this dust of experience that gathers on your mind is knowledge knowledge is the dust that gathers on the mirror of your mind clean it that is why every day meditation is needed meditation is nothing but the cleaning the mirror of your mind clean your mirror of mind through meditation every day 
Clean it continuously and consciously. If you can clean it every moment of your life, then there is no need to sit separately for meditation. This is why eventually, after some time, meditation becomes a moment-to-moment -moment process. You are walking, all of a sudden a situation comes, you are going to look into your knowledge, into your known realm. This is what normally happens. But if you had learned the art of dropping it, being alert and aware each moment, then a new knowing happens. Because each last time when someone gave you a bad drive, that person is no more there, that situation is no more there, but your experience remains there as like a dead corpse and you continue to interact through that experience. Clean it continuously and consciously so that no dust gathers, no knowledge becomes, no knowing becomes knowledge. If you can clean it every moment of your life, then there is no need to sit in meditation separately. Then the moment the situation comes, immediately knowing comes and you will interact in that situation as if it is happening for the first time. This is a state of wonder. The child is in a state of wonder because of his innocence. There is no knowledge instead, there is knowing. Each time when he sees pebbles on the seashore, he is exhilarated. He is stuck with wonder and he, as if it is new. But when you enter into a male-female relation, you are entering with your knowledge. That's why there is never ever any fulfillment through me. What had happened in the first male-female relation never happens in repetition. It becomes like a mechanical, robot-like. Knowledge is robot-like. Knowing is innocent. It is like a fresh breeze that comes to you. Let your all, oh, everything that you do, even your love affairs, let these be like fresh breeze, not like gathered knowledge, not like repetition. Remember be alert that knowledge has not to be gathered, that you have to remain like a child full of wonder and hope. Every nook and corner is mysterious and you do not know what it is. You cannot figure it out, what this life is. Enchanted you run in this direction, in that direction, the wonder remains. Have you watched a child running on the seashore? So elated there is euphoria, collecting shells and colored stones. Have you watched a child running in a garden to catch a butterfly? He is not moving with the knowledge. You will not run that way if God is there. Certainly you will not run that way if God is there. You will not run that way. You will not be so ecstatic even if God is there. You will move like a gentleman. You will not rush. You will not be mad. You will still keep your manners. And that is what all the religions are teaching you to keep, to be well-mannered. You will still show that you are mature, not an innocent child. And see the difference, what does maturity has brought into you, what does well-mannerism has brought into you and you have lost all that is natural and all that is spontaneous. That is why Jesus claims only those who are childlike they will be able to enter the kingdom of God. Remember this valuable statement of Jesus. Only those who are childlike there is a vast difference between the word childlike and childish. Be childlike. Childlike is means to be full of wonder or innocence. And childishness is cunningness. Only those who are childlike will be able to enter my kingdom of God. Only those who are childlike. Only those who are still capable of wonder 
Are you capable of wandering now? Wander is the greatest treasure in life. Once you have lost that, you have lost everything. Once you lose wander, you have lost your life, then you drag, but you no longer live. Wander is aliveness. When you are full of wonder and oh, you are alive, you are pulsating with life. With knowledge, all wonder disappears. A man of awareness is full of wonder, full of oh. Everything he does is oh. That is one of the most difficult problems the modern mind is facing. Because knowledge accumulates every day more and more. The 20th century and more so now the 21st century is much more burdened with knowledge as religion has disappeared. We have instant pseudo-religions. Religion can only exist with wonder and with wonderful eyes, eyes which do not know but are ready to rush into the direction to see what is there. Innocent eyes, virgin hearts, ready to explore. So remember to remain capable of childlike wonders, childlike home. Science grows out of doubt. Religion grows out of wonder. Always religion grows out of wonder. If wonder has lost, then religion has lost its significance. And present day, all your so-called manipulative, man-made religions have lost wonder. There is no religiosity. Between the two is philosophy. It has not yet decided. Philosophy goes on hanging between doubt and wonder. Science is doubt. Religion is wonder. And philosophy hangs between the two, the doubt and wonder. Sometimes, sometimes the philosopher doubts and other times he wanders, but he is not sure. He is just in between in limbo. If he doubts too much, by and by he becomes a scientist. If he wanders too much, by and by he becomes religious. But this rarely happens. That is why philosophy is disappearing from the world. 99% of the philosophers have become scientists and one person, Morton Bauer or Jiddu Krishnamurti or P.T. Suzuki, Somewhere great minds, great penetrating intellects, they have become religious. Philosophy is almost losing its ground. Martin Bauer, Jiddu Krishnamurti, E.T. Suzuki, they are all religious and men of wonders. If you become too skeptical, you become scientist. If you become too childlike, you become religious. Science exists with doubt, religion exists with wonder. If you want to be religious, then create more and more wonders. Let your life be full of awe and wonder. Discover more wonder. Allow your eyes to be more filled with wonder than anything else. Have you ever seen, when you make a dish and you present it to the child, he looks at the wonder and wants to find out how did you make it? How, how I cannot understand, how have you made it? This is the state of, this is the state of wonder. Allow your eyes to be filled with more and more wonder than anything else. Be surprised by everything that is happening. Everything is so tremendously wonderful that it is simply unbelievable how you go on living without dancing. How you go on living without becoming an ecstatic. You must not be seeing what is happening. Or just to be so miraculous, indeed, just to breathe is so miraculous. Just to breathe and just to be is a miracle. Nothing else is needed to be religious. Religious, nothing else is needed for a religious person except to be full of wonder. And if you are full of wonder, you don't need any scriptures. And when one is full of wonder, praise arises. And praise is prayer. When you see this wonderful existence, you start praising it. 
in your praising prayer arises. Something overwhelms you. This is man of awareness. Man of awareness. Be a man of awareness, instant man of knowledge. 